discerning shooters here for blue collar prepping. Last week I talked about bugging in as opposed to bugging out, picking your locale, all kinds of things that can be done through, you know, research, the internet, National Weather Service, Farmer's Almanac, all kinds of crazy enough. But let's say we are staying bugging in. Let's start with the simple things that we need. Behind me, shelter. It's an obvious. Everyday American home, whether it's a single story, two story, basement or not, that's what you start with. You know, you can get all kinds of crazy into all the kind of things. Let's just use the average, everyday American home. This one here is a ranch style, so we'll go with that. Ranch style. So now I have my house. I got locks. Now what else do I need to shelter in? Well, let's start off with natural disasters. Heat, you know, water, food. You don't have to spend a lot of money. Remember, this is blue collar prepping. Go to all these places, like name a couple Aldi's Lucky's and all these other chain stores that are out there they have sales all the time water it's distilled water 79 cents a gallon yes of course we have water we have running water municipal water we even have wells in the background and we'll be doing some videos on that in the future but having said that they run with power so it doesn't matter what kind of well you have if you don't have any power you don't have any water in the winter time you can melt snow but then you're gonna need some heat we're going to talk about that next week. So it's a couple other things. Talk about sales and things that are available. Tuna fish. Chain brand. I think I paid 50 cents for this. They were like two for a buck. Or maybe it was a dollar. I don't recall. But I bought a couple cases of it. Good source of protein. You know, one per person per day. It's pretty much what you can survive on. And it's like, whether you like it or not. Now, if you're allergic to it, that's obviously a different story. Say The same could be said for peanut butter. Peanut butter, especially the terrible GMO, high factory stuff, whatever, where it has less protein and benefits, health benefits, and it's got more bad stuff in it than the good organic stuff. Nonetheless, a dollar jar of it will get you by over a couple of days. Other things, you know, again, keeping with the same idea, it's just cheap and easy. That's like three for a buck. Spartan brand here in the Midwest. This was last year. You know, I bought $10 worth. So all of a sudden I've got, you know, whatever that is, 30 cans of it. So it's beans in it. You know, it's not great organic food and it's not eating at a five-star restaurant. But it will get you by. You know, it's got nutrients in it, protein, sugars, things like that. Everything the body needs. So you can do it cheaply and inexpensively. And in the future article, we're going to do that too. Or we'll do a little shopping trip. Talk about some of the health benefits. Just do it a little bit at a time culmination right there between the water and those two things it's like i have food and water for two days for two bucks probably not even two bucks and it's like and of course you know and non-natural disasters but man-made disasters where we talk about flash mobs and rioting things like that last week i discussed well picking a spot where you don't have those issues or they're very 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 unlikely now that's not to say that they don't one day one of them will be smart enough to realize, hey, let's go to a small town in America where we'll make a big news splash when they don't have any law enforcement or very little, and they'll be able to get down. Well, that's what this is for. This isn't for critters in the backyard. This is for critters to get in the house, the big ones. That was in a very inexpensive find for myself. Actually, I believe I got it was trading some things, some tactical go-fast things that really are just foolish semi-automatic 12-gauge. Pretty much do everything I needed to do. Even shoot trap with it occasionally. I'm okay. So, this is the discerning shootist. It's about, for blue collar prepping, having a plan. Beginning to end. Be good. Be safe. And if you can't be safe, be good and dangerous.